please welcome the host of Drinking with the Wolf, the Warbringer, Stephen! Factory is my second home, man. I love this place for real. I love the staff, I love the crowd, I love the setup. Hell, sometimes I even love the train, man. And I love the alcohol. Let's face it, sometimes you live the gimmick, kid, right? Um, I want to go ahead and apologize. I am about to record this lit right now, so we're gonna go ahead and for the first time ever. We're gonna have a second interview with the same person, man. Also, you guys get the set history. When I first interviewed these guys, they were young greenhorns. They were young, dumb, and full of hope for the future. That hope, man. But now they're grizzled greenhorns. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Dave Secure. Oh, that's what BDSM stands for. Big Dave Security and Management. <laughs> Don't get a chair. You're right. You're right about that. You're absolutely right. I don't yeah. make the rules. That's a labor oh, thing. Oh, yeah, that feels good. It feels hey, very hey, hot people. Hey, hey. manager, factory. Is this good? Is, is this your good side? 
Yeah, it is. I had to think yeah. about which side was my good side. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that that way, oh, dude, you can see both our nose rings on hard time. That's hey, so we're two cool dudes with nose we rings. We're two cool dudes with nose rings. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows you get way hotter when you get your nose pierced. Absolutely. It adds plus 10 to uh, charisma, right? And hotness. And that. And we'll we'll go with that. Um, you got to have no idea what drinking with the wolf is, do you? I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. It's real simple. My name used to be the Alpha Wolf because I was a douchebag. I like to drink. So I drink with my friends and I interview them. And if the mic goes out, we'll probably just, I don't know, fight each other. Who knows? By God, I hope it's not but speak, hey, speaking of fighting each other, I want to go ahead and. It's not the elephant, it's the chimpanzee in the room. Okay, it's the. Okay. This is the third time we've done one of these live. And the first two times, I've had a drink thrown on me, and that led to a fist fight. So I'm really hoping that you and Lee, being my strong gentlemen, right. don't throw a drink on me. Can we, can we get with that? Hold on, let me, can I talk to him? Sure. Okay, come here, come here. Good into the mic so there's no dead air. Um, I don't think we should throw a drink on, what do you think? I won't, baby, don't worry about it. All right, if you want, then I won't. One, two, three, break. All right, we ain't gonna throw a drink at you, Steve. We don't Hell decide. yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that is true. What'd you say? He said a white claw ain't a drink, and I ain't gonna argue with him. Hey, what, what are you drinking? What are you drinking? Fireball. Hey, fireball. Oh, yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on now, sir. I done seen what 50 years of fireball will do to a man. I'll stick to my white claw. Well, the problem is, he's only 30. <laughs> the light's in my eye. I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> All right, so, um, Dave, I'm not going to lie. I've had, like, 18 shots tonight. I've, just, I've like, kept true to my promise of 8 to 14 claws, Steven. So and that's, know. like, three shots worth of alcohol. So let's get this interview rolling, brother. Now, uh, last time we did this, we actually were sitting uh, right here at the Furniture Factory! Oh, See, that's why Mick Foley did that all the time. It makes them pop. I love it. And uh, we talked about how you guys were more over than half the roster when you weren't even actual wrestlers yet. It is. It sucks. They've got like thousands of Twitter followers just because they get drunk and hide, say dumb things on Twitter. Hey, whoa. Lee doesn't drink. Lee doesn't drink? He doesn't. Because I see it. Lee, go stand in the corner. You're not my intern, but I'm the boss. This is his show, Lee. I'm sorry. I wish there was literally anything else I could do for you right now. I know that you're going to try to get me to drink that crap, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Now, Stephen, you wanted to come on here and ask me some questions, but I came on here to get you to taste the raw, juicy goodness of the watermelon white claw. And now, I know that I get real hot and fired up about lemon lime white claw. That has nothing to say about the wonderful establishment that is the Furniture Factory Bar and Grill. They just gave me not lemon lime, and that's fine. That's okay. But I came on here to get Stephen to drink a white claw. The only problem with that is I'm drinking Crown Vanilla. Which means it's better than White Claw. So why would I step down when I'm trying to conduct an interview? Please stand in the corner. Maybe didn't you have a question for Steven? Oh no. I know you're in timeout, but I thought you had a question for him. If you don't, that's fine. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Should positively get to ask me a question on drinking with the wolf? Yeah. All right, fine. Let him ask a good question. I don't think so. This is against my better judgment, but I'm going to hand positively a live microphone. This is a terrible oh, idea. This is sick and lay right here. Mm -hmm. I just spill this with my fingers. Mm -hmm. All right, Steven. You ready for it? Go for it, kid. Yeah, we're getting that story about, uh, <laughs> oh, Donnie, Tom, Tom. Oh, that's somebody's name now. You got a question about it. Oh, his name? Oh, that's Dave and Barry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have no questions, Steve. I just want to say you look good, baby. Yeah, now, drink. Drink of that. Come on. Everybody, come on, Steve. Michaels, baby. Jesus Christ. Now, look at this game. My God. Hey. Everybody, take a drink. Drink. Oh,
Alright, alright, let's get the microphone. You're terrible at this. I'm never letting you ask another question ever. I have half a mind to fire you from your unpaid position right now. That was embarrassing. That was the worst. That was the worst. Oh, I apologize for that. Steven, what? I'm gonna I've turned now, because we're we're two friends, you know. We are, we're friends. We're right? close personal, long time friends. Not that, but we're friends. We're we're guys who know each other. We we do we're Twitter followers. We're mutuals. We are mutuals. Now I think that it's only right that as a mutual with me on Twitter, you drink this goddamn wine Well see, here's the problem, Dave. You're a liar. You know how I know you're a liar? You said on Twitter you were bringing them and lime. However, on the microphone, you told the good people right here at the furniture factory yeah. to drink your watermelon, but I just saw the label. That's a black cherry. Okay, okay. All right, this wasn't my first choice now. This is not my first choice. Steven, just take a drink. I'm not going to drink your friggin' white claw. Steven, I... I, I I'm, a, I'm a guy who's real good at keeping it cool now. I never get really excited about nothing. Y'all know me. Steven, I need you to drink this white claw, buddy. Come on now. Dave, do I need to stand up and tell you no, or can I just do it from right here? I'd hear you better if you stood up, I think. You think I should stand up and tell you? You say, F my white claw. F your white claw. Hey, listen, sorority girl, I know you're enjoying your beverage, but we're here to drink with the wolf, remember? Steven, 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 put your shirt back on, Steven, put your shirt back on, my lord, my lord, Steven, come on, Steven, put your pants back on, there's no need for any of this, Steven, Lee, you, Lee, I might need you for this one now. He's looking kind Lee. of rabid and uncaged. Lee, what's spraying your hair, Stephen? My God, there ain't no need for Lee, this. what did you just do to me? Say, it. what did you just do? I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Did you just spill a white claw on me, Lee? I'm so mad. No, I didn't. I didn't. Brother, I didn't. Steven, please. I braided my hair so we could have a good meeting. Oh! All right. Okay. So that means we gotta fight. Okay. okay. All right. Now look here. There's only one person inside this state, inside the entire Southeast, that will ever put a hand on positive lead. And let me tell you, Stephen, you're standing in the ring with him. Because I'm the only person who mistreats Lee around here. So now, I think we might have to do a little something about this. What, what are you doing? Well, I tell you what, give me that damn spray bottle because I want to look good while we fight too. broke down Big Dave and Stephen Michaels brawling throughout the furniture factory bar here in Huntsville, Alabama. Oh! Stephen just slammed right off the table. Yeah, Big Dave and Stephen Michaels have a lot in common, but their taste in alcohol is one thing they just can't seem to reconcile over. It's driven apart far fewer now. 
Steven did mention that if he got one more drink thrown on him during these uh, drinking with the wolf segments, he was probably going to lose it. It seems to be a recurring thing, doesn't it? These monkey wonders how Steven stays so drunk when he keeps getting it all spilled on his face. And the crazy thing about it is they're probably going to be better friends for this. Oh, you never know, man, until you find the partner. Who knows, you and Donnie Primetime might be best friends after all. Uh, I wouldn't put my money on it. Oh! Both men now staggering. Why do you think I got up? Dave might be fiending for a white claw at the moment after that huge blow from Steven. <laughs> he is uh, securing and managing the white claw since 99. Unbelievable what we're witnessing here. At the furniture factory bar and grill, all hell has broken loose. Well, it wouldn't be a top shelf show without a good old bar fight breaking out. Whenever Stephen Michaels is in the building, that is a distinct possibility. Oh, oh, that had to hurt. Oh, God, this is a terrible Lee, don't you spill none of that alcohol. There's enough party fouls going on right now outside the ring. Okay. Who's got a white claw? My God. Dave needs to get his thirst quenched. He don't want it. He don't want it. Uh -oh. After throwing hands with Stephen Michaels. <laughs> now I know what we need, Steve. Oh, no. I know what we need. We need stairs. Oh, no. We need stairs. I'll beat your ass, kid. Get the fuck out of the way. Stephen, uh, a little unsteady on his oh, feet yeah. here. I know what you want. Steven setting the chair back up. never been to journalism school. This is a hard-hitting interview, Carmen. What does he want? Fellas! Come on, stop, baby! There you go! There you go! Oh, wait. Lee! Whoa! Wow! Hold on. Did he just swap drinks? Lee got the drinks mixed up. That's pretty good! He drank it! Hold on, we'll get another. Stephen Michaels is drinking a White Claw, Carmen. Grease Monkey never what thought he'd see the day. What does this world right? come to? This isn't bad. I'm not gonna choose to have it ain't bad. I mean, this this wouldn't Big be Dave my first choice, but it's making his, me feel maybe his first inside. taste of strong whiskey. Hot. It's making me feel warm inside, Steven. I still got it. Yeah. Well, that, that was never take your drink back. That was never requested. Bring yours out. It was empty. It's fine. I'm drunk. Somebody give me a claw. Can we get this man a white claw? I'm dying out here. Uh, I mean, I'm feeling warm and fuzzy. You think we should like maybe move or something? What? Wait a second. Marcus Dillard wasn't scheduled for this podcast.
good time. But I figured I'd come out here and break some news to you. Whiskey is for drunk redneck alcoholics. Oh! Now that was uncalled for. And then, much like Steven said earlier, White Claws, better for 20 year old sorority girls. Now you just hang on a minute there, son. I don't think either of you drunk. Hey, what'd you say? <laughs> Y'all are too drunk. Y'all can't do nothing. You want to say my face talk? Hey! You can't do nothing. Oh, oh. oh no. Not, not a smart not move. A smart you can't go touch you like that. You either, Big Dave. Oh. oh. What the hell? Where is this like coming from? Okay, Lee, you want this? You want this? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hang on. What are you doing? Oh, and Lee going to work on burning coal already. It I guess we have an official match here. Positive Lee going to the second rope. What the? Oh, oh my God! The Jimmy the King special. Crown him! Crown him! Crown him! A triple three count. Secured a nine count, Grease Monkey. Since 99, Positive Lee holds down the fort. Marcus Dillon might have a little extra to say. Still has it with ringside. Take notes, that right there is the ideal human form. Dave and Stephen Michaels barely on their feet. I'm fucked up like I'm fucked up. I'm way too fucking drunk for this. 